many block party during night two night and you'll find a lot of the same neighbors greeting neighbors an assortment of summer salads and casseroles cheesy potatoes these are the best and fire and police visiting with residents but we found a party with a little extra love can't let you down can't let you down how are you Kevin and Barb Schmidt have hosted the annual Night to Unite party for 20 years. Some neighbors have stayed, <laughs> while some have moved away, but they all seem to return. Even though neither my husband nor I grew up here, um, this really feels like home to us. Though Leslie Larson moved just a block away, she still considers the people in this neighborhood family. Their kids grew up together and they always kept a watchful eye. At one point we had a white van who kept going through the neighborhood and all of us were in a complete uproar and it turned out it was just somebody who had moved in across the street on the other side of six, or White Bear and we're using it as a turnaround but because everybody was paying attention, everybody was seeing it, the cops went and had to talk with them and said they couldn't do it anymore because they had us all in an uproar. <laughs> Aside from his annual hosting duties, Kevin Schmidt volunteers for CERT, the Community Emergency Response Team. Hey there. <laughs> he says the team has been called upon to help in different ways, like searching for a missing adult in Lakewood Park. Captain Hager called out and said we need, need some people up at 3.30 up there, and we got 12 CERT members up there combed through the, the area where there's baseball fields and soccer fields, a huge area in a, in a disc golf park, and, and they did a great job. All the neighbors we talked to had positive things to say and positive experiences with White Bear Lake first responders. Actually, my son, um, we found out for the first time ever that he had a nut allergy when we were having a little party at the YMCA, and he had a nut cookie there, no idea. And we, uh, the Y called, the front, the front desk of the Y called, uh, called uh, 911 immediately, and the and the uh, first responders were there within um, within seconds, it seems like. Schmidt says the commitment Wiper Lake Police and Fire have to the community is amazing and counts neighborhoods lucky to have them. And collectively, these neighbors count themselves very lucky to have each other. Thank <laughs> you.